Today we're going to be looking at a multiplication strategy called breaking apart using arrays. For this strategy you will actually need to build arrays in order to solve multiplication problems. So let's say I want to solve the problem 28 times 4. Well I'm going to start with an unmarked array. Remember that I can use an unmarked array um, instead of having all of the tiles or all of the squares drawn I can just represent the squares by making an outline of what I think the array would look like. So I'm going to put 28 on my larger side and 4 on my shorter side. Now 28 times 4 is not a basic fact so I need to break this number up into parts that make it easier. Well when I think about the number 28 numbers that make up 28 could be 10, 10, and 8. I could do 20, 4, and 4 because those all equal a total of 28. Or I could just break it up by its place value and do 20 and 8. Well, since I'm really comfortable with my 10s, I'm going to try breaking it up into 10s first. So I'm going to take my 28 side and I'm going to make a 10 section. And then I'm going to set aside another section of 10. And my last chunk will be 8. So now these 8 tiles plus these 10 tiles plus these 10 tiles all make a total of 28, which is one of the factors of my problem. So now I'm going to do 10 times 4, which equals 40. And since the neighboring array is also 10 times 4, I know that my product for the second array is also 40. So I can tell here that it's a 10 by 4. And my last array is 8 by 4, which equals 32. Now I need to find the total of the entire array, so now I'm going to have to go back and add my partial products together. And I call them partial products because they're all parts of the final product. So in this case I had three partial products. I had one product here, another product here, and another product here. But they all represent this one large array which represents my problem of 28 times 4. So if I add 40 and 40 I get 80. And 80 plus 32 would give me 112. So my final product is now 12. Let's look at another problem. Let's say that I want to multiply 17 times 5. So my first step is to start with my unmarked array. So this longer side represents my 17, my shorter side. It makes the most sense to represent 5. Now I'm going to think about what could I break 17 into in order to make it easier numbers. Well, I could break it into 10 and 7. I could break 17 into 12 and 5. I could break it up into 11 and 6. So now it really just depends um, on which factors I want to use that are easier for me to solve. So in this case, I know my 6's better than my 7's, and I know my 11's better than my 12's. So I'm going to break 17 up into 11 and 6. So now I've taken my 17 tiles that were across here and I've drawn a line separating them into a group of 11 and a group of 6. So now I have two smaller arrays. I have an 11 by 5 which is 55 and now I have a smaller array of 6 by 5 which is 30. Now both of these arrays represent my problem 17 times 5 so in order to find out how many are in all of the arrays I need to add them together. I made a mistake here so I'm going to go in and erase it. Oh, 
All right, I don't want to multiply 55 times five, 55 times 30. I want to add 55 plus 30, which gives me a total of 85. So the product of 17 and 5 is 85.